Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Trombone First Aid. Today we are in a very special venue, this Beal Congress House, and I'm together with my dear colleague uh, Beat Riese. Ja, hallo. Ja. <laughs> and a very special guest, uh, Ian Bausfield. Hello, hi. And I'm very glad to uh, play together this week because we have a very interesting project with our orchestra in cooperation with Hochschule der Kunst Bern and Romantic Symposium. Uh, so we are here to present uh, Romantic Trombones, Alto, Tenor and Bass. And this week we are going to play all the symphony concerts, uh, opening with Rui Blau Overture by Mendelssohn, David Concerto for Trombone, <laughs> and then finally Schumann uh, Third uh, Symphony. So I wanted to ask uh, Ian, uh, what was uh, the basic idea of this project and how, uh, in his uh, opinion, would be useful and good to use this kind of instrument in modern orchestra and symphony concerts? Yeah, um, I, thank you very much for welcoming me into, me into your section. Um, I'm, I'm really loving playing Schumann III, I have to say. I love playing that. Um, yeah, the basis of the project is that we looked at the German romantic trombones, 1840 to 1900, basically. So the Sattlers, Pencils, Heckels, and Kruspis, and um, to see if we could recreate them, you know, and to see what an effect it would have on the repertoire of that time. And Egger in Basel, as we all know, they're, they're the leading people in making historic instruments. They're fantastic. And they've done a great job. If we look at, I mean, um, the, the alto trombone here, um, it's based, it's very similar, very, very, very similar to a heckle that I played in a museum in, in, uh, in Basel, which is one of the most incredible alto trombones I've ever played in my life. And they've done a really great job recreating this. And it looks kind of... Um, deceptive because you don't expect it to make a kind of a big fat sound but it does you this you could use in any orchestra in the world if you're playing Beethoven or Schubert Brahms even you know it works very well very beautiful warm sound um, the tenor without the valve the one that you're playing also makes you know quite a sort of like a big fat round sort of flugel horny kind of sound for me I think they would work slightly better with the stability of the valve Um, the bells are incredibly thin. We're down to about 0.1 of a millimeter yeah. at this point. You know, it's, I mean, incredible. You have to be incredibly skilled to ma even make one of those. Um, but it brings with it some instability, and I do question why they why they did that because it's really difficult to make these. If they made the bells a little bit thicker, the sound it would be easier to. But my to guess, focus and, exactly. Yeah. But my guess is it wouldn't sound quite as good. So I'm, I'm assuming that in those days, sound was everything. I think with the bass trombone that Bayat has there, I think that we have a little bit more stability. Mm -hmm. um, and as you can see, Bayat <laughs> is doing the weightlifting exercises there. He's added some extra weight there. Because <laughs> these German trombones, they have very short bells and very long slides, so yeah. they're very top-heavy. They fall down. So you have to really work. I kind of hold it more like that. So I've got that kind of <laughs> thing it holding it, you know. Because if you try and hold it like this, you just can't. It's yeah. too much. So that's basically the idea of it. And, and listening to the rehearsal that you guys did the other day, I think that these trombones, they're actually changing the sound of the whole orchestra in Rie Blau when I heard it, you know, it seems great. So that's basically the principle of it, yeah. Good, great. So thank you for this uh, introduction. And if you want to have more information, just contact uh, Egger. And, uh, because they are developing all these uh, instruments. And now we will play some excerpts from this uh, concert. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, Ian, for this opportunity. And Beat, grazie. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ciao. <laughs>
first time, no rehearsal. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Anybody need another go of that? <laughs> it's not going to get any better than that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>